It's Judgment Day. <laughs> For today's video, we're going to be opening two of the highly, highly anticipated Lean Hearts Rare Candy Mystery Boxes. So I believe there's been three releases of these boxes so far. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but these two we're opening today are from the second release, which was the first time they increased the price from 250 to 275 where they promised increased odds. The problem is they never even stated the odds in the first place, which is a huge red flag when it comes to mystery boxes. They also took three weeks to get here. I'm hoping that's normal and it's not because they knew who I was when I purchased them. But let's check them out and find out if the $275 price tag is worth it. Real quick, before we get into the mystery boxes, I want to let you know that I will be giving away a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Cheers! Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've been well. Box one. Let's just get right into it. I know everybody's very, very excited. <laughs> But these are the Wave 2, so I'm not sure if it might make a difference a little bit, but we'll see. Okay. First one. So we have a PSA 9 Blastoise, non hollow, non hollow from Expedition. I've had probably 15 of these in my life, probably more, and I didn't even open a box to get them. You pay, you got, you got lights in these. A box that costs $20, they're probably charging at least a $50 premium to put it in a special box. The fact that they have to put this stuff in a special box takes away from the actual value of the contents. And that's purposeful, 100% purposeful. Any mystery boxes that are predicated on being premium based on the setup is not a mystery box you ever want to buy. So we have Evolution, Dragon Majesty, a Dragon's Exalted. So this box now, right? What do you do with it? It goes in the garbage. I don't get it. Go Expedition, Blast. You could buy one for 80 right there. Sold listings, 70 bucks, 67, 75. Now let's check out the packs. Booster pack. We'll call it 20. 40 bucks. 80. So 80, 40, 20. So it's 140. 75, 80, 220. Second box. Here we go. Second box, the reveal. So we got a first edition from Jungle Pikachu, PSA 9. And the packs, we got, so we have Dragon Majesty, Plasma Blast, and Dragon's Exalted again. So the theme is these all have pretty much like the vintage packs are black and white. Got it. <laughs> The, the the jungle first edition first edition jungle Pikachu PSA nine fifty no there's no way that's fifty bucks yeah forty two fifty one market price of the Pikachu I'm saying forty bucks forty bucks. Because I guarantee you could buy this 40 bucks. You can wait for that auction. You can wait for that auction. I'm sure you can get it cheaper than for, what the market price was. 40. I'm saying 40, and that's generous. 40 bucks. Plasma Best should be on the cheaper side for black and white 50. Fifty-five bucks. See the market average? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fifty bucks. Got forty. Forty. So one sixty. We got. Okay. 
So we got 200 in value on the second one. So we did not get full value on either of them. Here are the, here are the two mystery box contents. So this is the second one. This is the first one. Again. You're better off just buying what you want. Like, I haven't yet to see anybody pull something truly significant out of these. So, at the end of the day, it's probably just them getting rid of slabs that nobody really wants. They're, PS they're nines. I mean, I've seen people get hollows that are sixes. It's garbage. Pretty similar pack. It's black and white. It's dragon magic. It's nothing that crazy. And you don't even get the full value out of it. And then they put you a premium for the box that has fucking little LED lights in it. Let's just open the packs and then I'll give you the full rundown at the end. Cheers. First up, we have Evolutions. Trash. Next up, we have a Dragon Majesty. Next up, another Dragon Majesty. Reshram GX. Next up, we have a Plasma Blast. Holy shit. Genesect EX Full Art. It's actually a solid pull. You'll see a pop-up on screen of the actual price, but I know it's one of the lower tier full arts from this set, 100%. But decent pull, solid pull. Next up, we have two Dragon's Exalted packs. Amphros Hollow, and the last pack, S tier code card artwork. And a Gothica non hollow. I know all of you appreciate me for my honest opinions, so I do have to give one positive for these is that they are not as bad as the first wave of these. The first wave we saw on Leanhart's channel, he posted a video. A few weeks ago, you genuinely got $50 of value in the three he opened for $250. That video he did delete, but I'm glad to see they're not as bad as that. It's great to see that they, they definitely improved with the increased price. But the question still remains is that can you buy one of these and get a value more than what you paid for? Any of these that I've seen opened were similar value that I had. Ultimately, the question is, can you actually get more value than what you paid for? Because there's no odds stated at all. And from what I looked up online for openings, I didn't see one box that got more value than what they paid for. If someone can link me a video of where someone got more value than what they paid for. To me, these are not mystery boxes. These are grab bags. And grab bags are items someone else doesn't want anymore that are somewhat close to fair value. And that's what you're buying. So instead of using the $275 to buy what you want, you take a chance of getting a graded card that you have no desire to have. They're not anything special. They're just PSA 9 non-hollows from my experience. And from what else I saw online, they're PSA 6 hollows from base set 2. They're undesirable items that they're giving you in these mystery boxes. Why does it feel like I'm getting unwanted items from someone that states they truly, truly care about the community in the disguise of a mystery box?